Hey guys, how's it going? So, a little bit overcast today and it's projected to rain. That looks like it might have rained a little bit already. There's lots of stuff on the ground. Lots of tree stuff. Anyways, um, talking about, I talk about respect a lot. Well, respect and balance and a lot of other things. But, um, respecting the competition because you know I say well you know real good competition is yourself and better yourself if you really want to get down to it and trying to beat other people is kind of meh. one of those things uh, brought about by lots of I don't know jealousy insecurity and whatnot so respecting the competition as it were when striving for things is a question that someone asked me um, on one of my forums and they said, you know, do you need to respect them? I said, well, they're people. Uh, as a general thing, uh, out of courtesy, I do respect them as a general person. Um, respect what they do? Well, that depends. Um, if what they do is something, you know, malicious, I guess I don't really respect the f their actions. Um, perhaps their point of view um, why they are doing things I can respect that fact their talent um, all of that and yeah I guess that's it uh, um, respecting them as a person respecting their talent uh, respecting generally that they have um, an aim in their life and that's good for them whether I respect some of their actions or I guess negative intentions towards me and mine I, I don't because well you know it, it's hard for people to kind of separate that you know how can you say that you know you don't really like this person on a personal level and yet on a professional level you go well look I'll deal with them um, interact with them and, and all that sort of stuff well that's the thing what they there's plenty of people who for whatever reason um, you know I, I don't agree with but are still willing to work with them it doesn't have to be a malicious thing it could just be a different point of view a different belief system like I am spiritual not really religious um, I do believe in science and stuff and logic but melding those together uh, a lot of people are very anti-religious um, that I, I, I associate with and then some of them are also quite religious I don't get into that kind of talk with them I respect their point of view I don't have to agree with it I'm still willing to work with them because the work that I'm doing doesn't necessarily uh, need to be impacted by those beliefs it might be something about, you know, core belief on what they're doing, where they start a few things. But for them, uh, for me anyway, uh, it doesn't really impact on my interaction with them. Other than there's certain topics that I just don't really, don't really talk about. Um, yeah, so I do respect, um, I guess, what people call competition. Or they would call rivals or whatever. Um... I don't really see it as that. I mean, if people are doing things that I'm doing, that's them. They're doing it their own way, their own style, and that's pretty cool because uh, that's that's them. And if it's something that they're passionate about, awesome. That shouldn't impact the way I do things. Other than, I mean, people say, "Does it spur you on to do better?" I said, "Well, it does and it doesn't." Um, I draw inspiration from those around me, even people that you know people consider my rivals. Um, and but I don't see them as my rivals. I see them as people who have found different ways to do things and look at the world in a different way. Um, sometimes of which I understand and I incorporate and think about, and others which I understand but I don't really agree with. In which case I don't incorporate into you know my life and all that sort of other stuff. So yeah, what do? Do you see other people or other methods or thoughts, thinking in that as, I know, competition or rivalry? If so, why? Um, 
Can you separate your own personal feelings from what you are doing um, in order to appreciate, even if you don't agree, appreciate their point of view? I won't get into their methods <laughs> and intentions, um, their reasons why are their own, I guess. Um, but sometimes people can do things in, in a right in certain ways, but you know, in, in wrong in others, but that's again a more of a subjective thing. And what do you take away from having competition or rivalry, as it were, um, or someone that is, is in the same industry? Uh, same job as you? Do you exchange ideas? Do you look at it as, hey, that's a way we can improve ourselves? And do you help them? You know, just, just improve your industry, your station, the position, whatever it is in life. Um, so I'll leave that to you. I mean, I don't really see things that are like that. Um, not, not a common way of seeing things, I guess that I don't really see competition and rivalry, um, but <laughs> thanks Paul, <laughs> again in my latex going through South Bank, but anyways, I don't really see a lot of things in rivalry, I see people will compete, strive, and that's awesome, hey babe, hey babe, um, as in friendly competition, but as for malicious things like sabotaging and all that sort of other stuff, I don't really dig on it because my thinking is that if you've had to go to such malicious and negative um, methods to do or to improve or to compete with somebody uh, like cheating, you're really cheating yourself and you obviously do not have a belief that what you're doing is right. You're doing it for all the wrong reasons. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll leave that with you guys. See ya. And it uh, looks like it might rain today, so stay dry. Don't get sick. Love you guys.